Before I start this story, I guess I should introduce myself. My name is Wayne Weasley, and yes, I am a Weasley. Though I'm not part of that huge family, I'm their cousin. I grew up knowing them, but not really knowing them enough to be called family. I am the same age as Percy, which is two years older than the twins, and four years older than the Golden Trio. I am a huge fan of Quidditch, but I am also very accident prone, so I never played. Oh, am I? And I'm a Hufflepuff. I guess it started in my first year. I didn't have much space to myself. All my friends were kind of smothering me. So I went out to find a personal spot where I knew they wouldn't bother me. Like I said, I love Quidditch. So I went down to the Quidditch pitch. I will just study or read or do some homework in peace. Whenever I went there, there was never anyone practicing, so I was never bothered. I did this for about five years. Then in my fifth year, I guess the Quidditch schedule changed, because about ten minutes into my usual homework session, the Gryffindor team showed up. Now, I knew some of the people, some of the people were, like Oliver Wood, the infamous Weasley twins, my cousins, And then I realized something strange. That first year, Potter was there. I chose to ignore them and continue doing my homework because honestly I couldn't be bothered. I have been doing this for the past five years in, of my life on schedule. I was always there on time and I always left on time. They were the ones that changed their schedule so it was their fault. And it's not like I was in the Hufflepuff team, so what was I going to do anyways? Hey, we have the Quidditch pitch book for right now. I look up to see Oliver Wood yelling at me. And if you're planning on spying on our strategies, then you can fuck off. Rude. Then my cousins piped up. Oh god, why did they always have to open their mouth? Yo! Boyan, what are you doing here? With them, I always got really sassy, and I don't know why, but something about them brought the, out the sass out of me. Oh, and why do you care? I asked. Because, like I said, we've booked the pitch. The wood kid snapped again. Well, considering that I've come out here the same time every day for the past five years or so, and I've never had a single team practice, it's definitely not my fault you choose to practice while I happen to be sitting here. You've been coming here for the past five years? Wood asked. Yes, I responded as if talking to a baby. Now you can get on with your practice, but I have a homework I'm going to finish, whenever you're here or not. Wood opened his mouth to speak again, but I knew he was going to say, but I knew what he was going to say, so I caught him up. And no, I'm not a spy. I know what you're going to say next. He just sat there for a second and told his team to change. Then he walked over to me and said, You can stay here, but if any of the people in your house find out our strategies, you are dead. I could tell he was trying to be intimidated, but with that adorable accent, I couldn't even take this threat seriously. By then, the steam, his team was coming out of the locker room. Don't you need to get changed, Wood? Oh, um, yeah. And I'm serious about what I said. Yeah, yeah, you totally are. I said sarcastic sarcastically. I finish my homework earlier than I normally do. And I usually just read until I go. But I decided to watch them practicing. By the end of their practice, I noticed some few flaws in their strategy so when they were heading out of their locker of their locker rooms i caught up with wood and told him 
how do you know that will work? Trust me, I know a thing or two about Quidditch. Then why don't you play? Well, because I'm I'm a bit accident prone. I admit it. Of course, he started laughing. Not funny! I whined, slapping his shoulders. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty funny. Whatever. I've got to go though. Are you practicing tomorrow? Every day, he told me. Same time? Yup, he said a little too enthusiastically. Well, I guess I'll see you then, I said, and turned around and walked off, but he called me back. Hey! I turned around to see what, what he wanted. I didn't catch your name. Oh, I'm Wayan uh, Weasley. So the twins are your brothers? Wait, you're not Percy's twin, right? No, 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 no. They, they are my cousins. I laughed. Oh, well, see you tomorrow. See ya. Two years later, now in our seventh year, I had been helping Oliver captain his team. We were the best friends. But, but to be honest, I wanted to be more. I hang out with him in his common room often, and we work on strategies a lot. I still never play Quidditch though. I got a lot of crap from the twins about dating Oliver, but we never let it get to us. My friends in the Hufflepuff tease me about being a traitor, to which I would always respond to the Huffle that the Hufflepuff team wasn't the one who was for him. Who asked for help. One day, Oliver and I stayed up late in his common room, planning what they were doing, what they were going to practice the next day. Everyone in Gryffindor knew that I helped the team, though most people in the other houses aside from my friends didn't. Honestly, I don't know how though, because I ate with them ev before every Gryffindor game. Eventually, We were the only ones in the common room, but I didn't notice, but I didn't really notice. I looked up at the clock and saw that it was 15 minutes to curfew. Shit! Oliver, I have to go! No, just stay here for a little while longer, he whined. You know I don't like walking around when I, get in, when I can get in trouble. Then just stay. He said, grabbing me from behind. I tried to struggle out of his grasp, but I realized that there were only five minutes until I had to be back in my common room, and I knew I couldn't make it back by then. Once I settled down, he let me go. Ha! <laughs> Now you have to stay. Whatever would, I sat down and pulled out the playbook we had been working on. I started to plan on a new play when I realized that he had to keep me here for some reason. Why do you keep me here? Well, I need you to wake up the girls for the late night Quidditch meeting. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. They need their sleep. And you do too, I told him. Well, We're all here, so why can't you? I refuse. Fine, but at least help me do this, he said, referring to his homework. No, I whined. I would be relaxing in my common room right now if it weren't for you. At this point, our faces were inches away from each other in an attempt at intimidating the other. Help me do my homework. Make me, I whispered. Little did I know that this would make all my dreams come true. He closed the gap and kissed me. It was with, it was a field. It was filled with passion, and I could tell he had been waiting just as long as I had for it. Of course, I didn't realize that he had already notified the rest of the Gryffindor team of of the meeting. And the meeting was at the 
uh, that was at that exact time. So the entire Gryffindor Quidditch team walked down to the common room and witnessed Oliver snogging me. Awkward. We pulled away instantly and looked at the ground. The twins were saying how they called it and the girls were all like aww, in which I told them to shut up. Anyways, we had a very awkward Quidditch meeting full of teasing and such. Afterwards, I still didn't have a place to sleep other than their common room. Where are you expecting me to sleep? Because I'm not getting woken up by a bunch of Gryffindors wondering why the hell a Hufflepuff is sleeping in their common room. Well, if I'm sleeping in the couch with you, there won't be a such confusion, he suggested, awkwardly grabbing the front of his back. You're so cute, I said, handing a small kiss on his cheek. And that's a wonderful idea, by the way. So there I was, asleep, falling asleep in Oliver's arms in the Gryffindor common room. Hey guys, Trevor Bone over here. I know that we already did the Marauders and I honestly didn't know what the hell to post next so I just went on for the past two days searching and searching and I found this story which was really cute a Oliver X X Y N X reader X listener whatever and honestly I really liked it it was really cute and casually I was listening to an Oliver X listener last night and I was like you know what fuck it I'm going to do it um I'm very sorry for all the background noise I usually record at night but right now it's 11 a.m. and all the birds all the cars all the neighbors it's just they're in the peak moment right now so I'm really sorry for that but yeah I hope you liked it if you did subscribe like or comment what other character you want next And I hope you have a wonderful day, night, or afternoon. Anyways, guys, strawberry bone out. Stay safe, guys. Love you.